What's going on guys? So right now we just have a friends list working and it's really just an array of usernames and we're just storing that in Redis and on the front end here to display the list of names. But we want to more do we want to do more than just store names. We want to store the online status of each of our friends. So that's exactly what we're going to do in this video. So let me just show you the friends list of my user called Hello World, which is down here. So let me just access friends colon hello world. And it's really just an array with one string inside of it that says Lester. And that's what we're going to change in this video. So first of all, to get started, let's go over here to our socket controller and to our initialized user function. So whenever our user logs in, it calls this. And right away, we just want to save our connected status or online status to true okay and also when we disconnect we want to set our online status to false so let's go over here and register an event listener so socket dot on disconnecting and we would want to call a function which we're going to define down here so here let's just do module dot exports dot on disconnect is equal to a function takes in the current socket connection, the socket that's disconnecting and it runs this and it's asynchronous. So here we're just going to be calling on disconnect and passing in the socket that's trying to disconnect like so. And so here, what we would be doing is await Redis client dot H set. So we're going to a hash map and we're going to set a specific field in the hash map. And the hash map is over here. So it's a hash map that has the field user ID and connected. And we're just going to set connected to false. So down here we get user ID colon and then we we'll do string interpolation. So socket dot user dot username. That would be the key of the hash map. So the name of the object, if you want to think of it like that. And we're going to go inside the connected field and set that to false. So once we log out, we're not connected anymore. And here we're going to want to do a couple of more things. So here we would get get friends and also omit to all friends that we are offline now. Okay, and we'll get to this now. So when we disconnect pretty soon, we're gonna fill in this pseudocode. We're just gonna get all of our friends and loop through them, get all the user ID numbers and omit to them that we have gone offline. And over here in our initialized user function, we're gonna wanna do right away socket.join socket.user.userid. So that user permanent user ID that we set up, we want to join it right away because that's that's the room ID that our friends are going to communicate with us too. Okay. And so at the moment, this is all fine, but our friends list is still just an array of strings. So over here, um, when we add a friend and we're pushing this to our friends list, we're going to want to change this. So we're going to want to make, we're going to want to get an array that has friend name and also has the friend user ID. So friend dot user ID. And I'm getting this from this query up here. Um, where's the query? Yeah, this one. So we got to change this to not just get a specific user ID, but get the whole account. So we will just want to get our entire friend like that. And so wherever we were using this variable there, we want to change it to just friend. Okay. So now that we have the friend connected status, we have basically this whole thing right here of our friend. So now when we add to a friends list, we want to add their name as well as their user ID, as well as their connected status. 
or sorry, not their connected status, just their um, name and user ID. The connected status will get um, with a query, so don't worry about that. Um, because if we add the connected status and store it in the friends list, it'll be too too much overhead. Whenever they go offline and online, we would have to update the entire friends list, and that's not feasible. I mean, it's you can do it, but it's not reliable. So it's better to do this and just do a query to get their online status. So we need their user IDs so we can send them events. And in next episodes, we're going to use that to send over messages to them. Okay, so now that we're storing it like this, we're not just storing it as an array. It's going to be a string. So here we do dot join in a period. So what we're pushing to the friends array would be something like, let's say username Lester, and then that something like this. So the username and the user ID. And whenever we get the friends list, we're just going to parse this string and then put it into an object by doing dot split on the period. So we're going to need to do that. So let's make a function here called parse friend list and it takes in a friend list and it's an asynchronous function. And here we're just going to do const new friend list is equal to an empty array for now. And here we're just going to loop over our friends list. So for let friend of friend list right and then we're just going to do await redis client dot h get and here it would be user id colon and it would be friend dot username well actually when we get a friends list is just an array of these strings that have a period so first we would have to do here um, parsed yeah const parsed friend is equal to friend dot split on the period and so the username would be um, index zero so it would be parsed friend index zero and what did I just import up here okay so now we split the string at the period and we have an array with the first the zero index being username and the first index being the user id so here we get the username to get in the database um their account which we set up in previous videos which is under user id colon and a username and we want to get the field called connected so we'll do const friend friend connected is equal to that and then we would just do we would just do new friend list dot push and we push in an object that has the username equal to parsed friend zero and user id equal to parsed friend one and connected connected is equal to friend connected and then we would just return the new friend list so we made this function that when we pass in an array of those um, strings basically what we're storing in our database um, which would be over here which is a string with the name and user and user ID in the same string we're parsing that and we're just sticking it in an array of objects of friends with the username, the user ID, and their connected status, which we're getting from Redis. We're doing a query to get their uh, status, online status. So now that we can parse our friends list, we can send that over to the front end and just do a bunch of things with that. Here, when we disconnect, we want to get our friends list and we want to get all the user IDs and emit to them an offline uh, event. So here we would do const friend rooms is equal to or we do const friend list is equal to await redis client dot h get or not it's a range l range friends colon socket dot user dot username so we're getting the user's username and the friend list when they disconnect 
and we want to get from index 0 to negative 1 which means give me the whole thing and with that friend list we can parse it so we can do await parse friend list and pass in the friend list and then we could do dot then and here we would have a uh, this new friend list thing but we really only want the user IDs so friend friends and then we would just do friends dot map and it gives us one friend and then we would just want to return basically an array of user IDs so friend dot user ID so basically we're just getting our friends list and getting every user ID from that friends list and that's why we're just parsing the strings then doing a dot then and then we get this array of objects and then we map through that array returning basically just an array of their user IDs so then we can just simply do socket dot two friend rooms dot emit connected false and our username just like that and just like that that's all you got to do when you disconnect okay and so when we connect we want to do something very similar except um we want to we want to do true so we want to tell our friends that we're online and our connected status is true so i say we can just kind of copy this and over here and then just change that to true just like that and then when we send our friend list to the front end it has to be yeah so we're gonna have to change this code a little bit my bad so we would want a parsed friend list is equal to await parse friend list and we parse our friend list and then here we would just um, parsed friend list dot map And then friend and then friend dot user ID so yeah we just separated that um, this code right here I just separated it because I need a separate array of user IDs and but I still need the actual friend list that we get from parsing it and that's because we want to send this parse friend list over to the front end here like that but we also want to omit send an event to all of our friends that we were online. So then if we were previously offline, we're online now. So their thing, their circle would turn green. OK, and before doing this, we also want to check um, if we actually have friends before omitting events to them. So if friend rooms dot length is greater than zero then we would run this code this looks pretty good to me now we just gotta go this looks good as well and the user id is undefined and that would be because we added we added um lester as a friend before we actually did this code so let me just go in here and delete the friends list of that user right and let me fix this over here on the front end so there's a problem in our front end i think it's over here we can just we're going to be rendering friend dot username because it's an array of um our friend list is not just an array of strings now it's an array of objects so oh and it looks like here um when I was trying to replace the, the the data that we send over to our front end, whenever our user is initialized, I forgot to pass in a parsed friend list. So we're actually sending undefined to the front end, and that's why it's getting an error. So yeah, when 
when our uh, user is initialized we send over this friends event with our friends list and it's being listened to right here in this front end event right here so if i refresh nothing wrong should happen right and let me just try to add um, myself as a friend down here okay so it looks like when i refresh it works but when i first added a friend it didn't work so Let's actually debug here and figure out what's going on. So it should be something wrong with the adding friend process because that's the only time we had a bug. So I'm going to go in here and take a look. Okay, I see the problem here. Um, when we're adding a friend and we're submitting, we're clicking this button and submitting, we're just adding uh, a string to our state and we changed how we're storing our friends so it's getting an error because we're really when we go here to render in the sidebar we're rendering friend.username and a string is does is not an object so that's something that we need to change and we can do that pretty easily by just um by this callback that we had set up so over here when we run this callback it runs so we receive a function from the client and we run it with some data that we want to um, respond with to the front end so we can just add more data in that callback and here we will just add new friend and then here um, we will just add this new friend object to our friend list and then over here when we add a friend we just add we add this object to the callback so like that and then this obviously would need to have username user id and connected so and those are things that we can get from our friend query that we just did over here up here so this would be friend dot or it would actually be friend name this would be friend dot user id and this would be friend dot connected this friend name is from when the user sends the request to add a friend we're just using the same username the user id is from this query up here when we're getting the friend that we're trying to add and we also get their connected status because every user in this user id uh, account here it has the connected status so when we query here for the user ID and the username, we get their connected status as well. So that's why that's gonna work. Okay, so let me make sure everything is saved. And let me just try that again. So I'm gonna add myself as a friend. And there you see it's a green circle. And when I refresh this page, or when I close it, it seems to not be working. Okay, and that's a pretty silly reason why it's not working is because we're not listening to this connected event. So when users connect and disconnect, we don't we're not getting this event on our front end. So we just need to go over here to our front end and register an event listener called connected. And it receives um, two two arguments to the callback, um, a status, which is true or false, and our username of the friend. And here we would just want to do set friend list and we get the previous friends and we can just do const friends is equal to an array with the previous friends and then we do friends yeah we just do friends.map and we're going to be returning friends.map and then we're just going to be looking if the friend that we're mapping over so we're mapping over this array of friends and if we have a friend that has the same username as the username that went offline or offline we just want to do friend dot connected is equal to status and then we just return friend like so just like that and we can just get rid of this right here 
and just do it like that okay so see when i refresh this tab up here this circle down here turns red real quick and when i close my tab i'm offline when i um go back on you know it turns green and it goes the other way around also so yeah um i know it was a lot of code but if you've been keeping up with the previous videos this should all make sense to you because we've just been building on the foundations that we've been doing in all the previous videos we've just been expanding upon our previous code and if you've been keeping up with the series this should all make sense to you so yeah um i hope you learned something from this video and i hope you have a great day see you later